With over 2,000 manufacturers and 13,000 brands, New York City is being recognized as a leader in the next industrial revolution. Join us as we meet with some of New York's rising stars and industry leaders. From CFDA President Stephen Kolb. New York is considered one of the four global fashion capitals. It has a significant footprint in fashion. To New York City's Deputy Mayor, Alicia Glenn. I think the future of manufacturing in New York is not necessarily large-scale production. What we have to offer is really unique um, access to markets. Surrounded by thousands of manufacturers, media, and retail opportunities, New York ranks as one of the top three cities to start a business. And I'm your guide, Matthew Burnett, CEO of Makers Row, and this is Makers Row, New York City. I'm sitting here today with Carlos Campos. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, it's a pleasure to have you. One of the things that I really found to be cool from the first time I heard about you is that your whole family were craftsmen. My grandfather was a watchmaker, but your entire family prior to you were craftsmen. Yeah, I'm, I think like I'm so blessed to have, my dad was a tailor and I taught me a lot of things. My mom was a seamstress. Um, my sister know how to sew. My brother, like everyone in the family, so I grew up in this industry basically you know and when I came to America it was like a natural thing for me to go to college and really become a designer. What's your approach in going to stores when you're thinking about product versus brand? Well I think you wanna you wanna be able to also tell the story with your product right? Um, in my case like every collection that I do is inspired by a Spanish character. So I want people to really understand that I'm you know I'm in America but I'm a Latino with a flavor. So that's how I, I think you have to kind of tell the story so they can buy your product. I feel like that's some of the magic of being in New York. When you're here on the big stage like anything that you can do can be seen by so many different people. Do you feel like that's a, like a lot of your success is due to being here in this community amongst this ecosystem of other fashion designers? Absolutely, you know. Um, I like to think like sometimes we know more because we are more exposed to more things now because we're the smartest person in the room. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, you know, when uh, I when I looked into sport people that I really am a fan of and Carmelo says, I, I want to work your collection, I was like, oh my God. So if I wasn't in New York, you know, if, if, and he wasn't in New York as well, then that connection would have taken a little bit longer, I feel. So yeah, definitely the city plays a, a larger scale into like, how do you get around? Yesterday's goals don't win today's game, yeah. right? Uh, it's, so it's a constant competition season after season. Uh, what does that pressure feel like? Yeah, I mean, you want to reinvent yourself every season, but you also don't want to forget yourself. Um, so it's a constantly battle. How do we do this uh, lab code and update it um, that it looks like that what people really like? It's I feel like it's like music, or right? once you have a song that is very like catchy, like and has a rhythm. Like how do we do something similar, but it has a different structure, right? And so yeah, it's it's challenging because um, you know as a designer you also want to experiment with new things, but also you have to what I call it. I stay within my box, all right? You know, this is what this brand is all about. Um, it's it's American with a Latin twist, and you know I constantly repeat that to myself. Um, and where the twist comes, it's either the color or the construction of my interpretation and design with all these characters that I constantly play with. So Carlos, I want to thank you for taking your time today and sharing your story. I'm sure it's going to be an inspiration for everybody watching. No, thank you for coming to my office, see my work, and care a little bit about my life. <laughs>